2018 Ford F-150 Lariat. Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. We live right in the middle of a farming community here, so we sell a lot of trucks, F-150s, as well as Super Duties. In fact, we are the number one Super Duty dealer in the state of Kansas. And so we, we love our trucks, we love talking about our trucks, and so we thought this would be a great video for you to go over all the standard equipment as well as optional equipment on the 2018 Ford F-150 Lariat Tramp. Uh, so first we will walk around and talk about uh, what's standard on all your F-150s uh, on your Lariat trim and then we'll talk about the different packages. So we'll talk about that mid package, that 501A, what's included in that, as well as that luxury package, that 502A package and uh, what you get when you go to that package, as well as the different sport appearance packages and the different standalone options. So uh, sit tight. I think you'll enjoy this video and it'll really help you in your research on whether or not a Lariat's going to be the perfect trim for you. We really look at Lariat as being that luxury trim on the F-150. Uh, so I think you'll really uh, enjoy this video. Uh, now it does come, well, of course, uh, that military grade aluminum alloy body, uh, just like in 2015, carried over, as well as that high strength steel frame uh, underneath. So plenty of capabilities there. Comes in two different cabs. You have your super cab as well as your super crew. Now that super cab is going to be a four door model where you open the front doors and then you open those back doors up. Now those back doors will open up 170 degrees. So you're going to be able to make it a little bit easier getting in and out in those parking lots. Also then you have the super crew is going to be the four full size doors just like you're seeing here. Uh, also they're going to come in two different bed links for each of those cab styles. So in that super cab, it's going to come in that six and a half foot bed or your eight foot bed. And then in the uh, Super Crew, you're going to have that five and a half foot bed and your six and a half foot bed. Now, all the different cab styles as well as bed links come in two wheel drive or four wheel drive, so you have that option as well. And then there, all three of those or all those are going to come in some different gear ratios. Uh, you do have your 331, uh, your 355, 373. Lots of different gear ratios and possibilities there. Electronic locking uh, gear ratios too. Uh, we like to order a lot of our trucks in the 355 because it's kind of more in the mid-range. So we have a lot of people around here that don't always tow with their truck, so they want to have that something that will go both ways uh, uh, for them. And I think you'll see that and that capability on that 355. Uh, but you can choose any of your gear ratios, whatever works for you and what you're expecting the truck to do. Uh, now also uh, they come in three different engines as well. Uh, and so you have your 2.7 liter V6 EcoBoost engine. The other EcoBoost engine is your 3.5 liter uh, V6 EcoBoost engine. Now Ford's first uh, port fuel direct injection system, uh, so it does have uh, two injectors in each cylinder. Uh, so what's great about that is you have that one, uh, one's in the air intake port as well as you have the other in the cylinder. So uh, real nice capability, so it's going to give you lots of acceleration uh, for that uh, and I think you'll really be pleased there. And all of them will come standard uh, with the 10-speed uh, automatic transmission. And I forgot to mention the 5.0 liter V8 engine too, uh, and that natural aspirated engine, uh, but all three of those engines are going to come with the 10-speed automatic transmission. So it's going to give you plenty of power, so you're going to have some uh, low range gears as well as some mid gears to help you with that acceleration as well as three upper gears for towing so I think you'll you'll be pleased there also they all come all engines come with this smart that auto start stop technology uh, so it's gonna as you come up to that stop sign it's gonna shut that engine off when you release from your foot from the brake it's gonna start it back up so real nice uh, technology they've put over to all of them that was available in the 2.7 liter now it's a standard on all your engines uh, across the board there so I think you'll uh, be pleased there and it's a very great system too it will not put it in that auto start stop if you're in a, a four-wheel drive mode uh, or if you're in tow mode so just keep that in mind too if you have a trailer and all that you won't put it in that mode so uh, and also you can deactivate that just by flipping a button on the dash real easily so uh, it's, a, it's a great system there and I think you'll really be pleased there also it's going to come with the uh, along with that is you're going to get five different modes driving modes so you have normal mode you have tow haul mode it's also going to come in a snow wet mode an eco select mode and a sport mode so whatever driving style you're wanting it's going to have five different ones that will hopefully fit uh, what your needs are and what your wants are there I think you'll really be pleased now talk about the different engines. A 2.7 liter V6 EcoBoost engine is standard on all your two-wheel drive uh, models as well as your four-wheel drives and the shorter cab links for each of the Super Cab and Super Crew. 
Uh, now that's uh, standard, not available. Uh, that engine's not available in your four wheel drives with the longer wheelbase, keep that in mind. Uh, but that 5.0 liter, as well as your uh, 3.5 EcoBoost are both available as optional engines in whatever cab style and uh, bed length that you're wanting, two wheel drive, four wheel drive, uh, that is gonna, those engines are available as well. Uh, talk about performance on those. That 2.7 V6 EcoBoost engine, a lot of people have felt that, oh, I don't want that, it's not very powerful, it's too small. Uh, but it has 325 horsepower, 400 pound-feet of torque. That's a lot of towing capabilities. And if you go back a couple years ago, um, you would have wanted that in your V8 engine, and that's the kind of torque that you have. Uh, this, that 27 has some uh, towing capabilities. And for most people, if you're just hauling some stuff around, that's going to be very adequate, and it'll help you with fuel economy as well. And then the 5.0 liter V8 engine has a 395 horsepower, 400 uh, pound-feet of torque. So same torque on that one as the V6, as the 2.7 does. And so plenty of towing there as well. I think it'll tow up to 8,500 pounds uh, with that, that engine. But if you're wanting the most towing capabilities that this truck can uh, give you, that's the 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost engine. Uh, a lot of people think it's a V8, but it's not. It's that 3.5 liter. It's going to give you over 10,000 pounds of towing. So you have like 375 horsepower, but 470 foot or pound feet of torque. So plenty of power behind that. Uh, you'll be able to tow any fifth wheel that you want with that trailer or with that, that engine, and I think you'll be pleased there. Uh, so some great capabilities out of this truck. So we've gone over everything that's underneath the, the truck, underneath that hood. Let's go ahead and talk about the outside of it. Starting here at the front is where you're going to see the, uh, the biggest change in 2018, and that's the refresh of the front grille. So you do have the now on the Lariat, the chrome two-bar grille, the nice uh, big two-bar two grille with, a, they call it the minor four-bar. So you have two up here and two on the, on the top and bottom. Looks real sharp, does have the mesh behind it. Uh, I kind of like the look of this because I like it. Almost to me gives it that blue oval look because of how it, it curves around uh, instead of just coming down straight like it was in 2017. So I like the grille. Some people don't, uh, but also it kind of comes into these uh, headlights, automatic headlights up here. The Lariat also is going to get chrome bumpers, the standard equipment with fog lights as well. And then if you have the four-wheel drive model, you're going to have the tow hooks as well up there in the front, uh, the black tow hooks. So uh, good. again, that is a refresh. Now, these uh, also, don't forget all the safety features too. Uh, you are going to have that advanced track with roll stability control, still the standard equipment, uh, and then all the airbags that really protect you in case of a collision. So you're going to have those dual stage front airbags as well as your side seat airbags and everything. So really protect you in the case of any kind of crash there. So um, real nice equipment here on the front. Now moving around to the side over here, you're going to see the wheel. Uh, this is a standard wheel, 18 inch machine aluminum wheel with the flash gray painted pockets. So real nice look to the, to the wheel. And I love the coating on those. Uh, just I think it looks real sharp for a Lariat truck. And uh, don't, do keep in mind that the wheels are going to be uh, different wheels that are available. Depends on what's available for the factory there. Uh, now, a lot of features here on the mirror that are standard equipment on your Lariat. You're going to have that power heated feature uh, on the glass. You're also going to have that integrated blind spot mirror, and that's an angled mirror, so you can see the vehicles in your blind spot. Turn signal indicators here on the outside as well. Security approach lamp that's going to light the ground beside the vehicle. Also, power fold feature. So from the inside, you're going to be able to hit that button, and the mirror will fold in towards the glass as well as auto dimming driver side view mirror. And that'll come in real handy when you have those cars with the bright lights that want to pass you on the highway. Um, that'll dim it for you just like the mirror on the inside will. So some great features that go along with that and memory features as well. So we'll, uh, as we talk about that with your memory features on the inside, the mirror will be also included in that. So it'll uh, keep your adjustments based on whatever a different driver is in it. When you hit that button, it'll adjust that mirror and save that as well. So that's really nice. Also, you do have the intelligent access so that no, uh, no different than in 2017. Uh, Lariat uh, with the key fob in your pocket here, you can just walk up, put your hands in the door handle. It's gonna automatically unlock the vehicle. I had to get in and out without having to get the keys out of your pocket. It even has the push button start as well when you get inside. And then you get out, you just press this black knob and it's gonna lock it up for you. Uh, it does have keypad here. A lot of people wonder why do you need that if you have the intelligent access. That comes in handy if you wanna leave the keys inside or maybe you don't have the keys on you but you still need to get something in there. You can set your own uh, code here and use that to access the inside of the truck. So I know my dad likes to use that a lot, leave the keys inside and use a special code here to get in and out of the truck. Uh, so that way he didn't have to carry the keys along with him. So uh, that comes in real handy as well. Uh, privacy glass as well here in the back. Uh, the back windows as well as the back glass just keeps it cooler for those in the rear seat but also just looks real nice as well on the truck so uh, and I keep that in mind also we do front 
a window tent here in the dealership. We put usually put the uh, front window tent on all of our uh, trucks, uh, especially Larry and above uh, for these. Just looks real sharp and really does keep a little bit cooler for those inside. So I think you'll like that. Now this one does have your chrome runner boards on the side. That is optional equipment. We'll get to that a little bit later in the video, uh, but keep that in mind that it's not uh, the runner boards are not standard on your Lariat trucks. A lot of people order them that way. We like to order them uh, with the runner boards on them as well, but just keep in mind that's not standard. Now moving to the back, this does come standard here on the back glass with rear defrost with power sliding rear window. So that's real nice. You see that on your XLT, that 302A package uh, as standard equipment. Of course, it's going to carry over to the Lariat. Now this tailgate will lock with the rest of the truck, uh, so when you lock the doors, the tailgate's going to lock. A lot of people like that, especially if they want to put a bed cover on here, uh, they, they're able to do that and lock that up. Uh, now I didn't mention earlier, but you do have body colored uh, door handles as well as your tailgate cover back here. Also you'll notice the rear view camera, standard equipment on these is that rear view camera, so as you're backing up, you're going to be able to see behind you and even has that trailer assist, that LED light back there, it's going to help you uh, light it up. You'll see the refresh on the back tailgate, now has the F-150 stamp back here. I do like that, it kind of brings over in 2017 when they redid the Super Duty. You saw the Super Duty uh, stamped on those tailgates, so kind of it's bringing the F-150 in and showing that relationship between that and your Super Duty. Uh, so I love the look of the uh, tailgate on these. Chrome bumpers back here, standard equipment as well, and then uh, does have your uh, class receiver hitch. This is standard equipment on all your Lariat trucks. You're going to have the class uh, 4 receiver hitch with 4 pin and 7 pin wiring capabilities here with that smart uh, towing connector and that, that enables you to put different trailers on there. Put those settings in there for your inside your, your towing so you can differentiate different trailers if you have multiple trailers that you tow with your truck and you can set those up in there. So uh, real nice equipment here and a great look here I think on the back. Uh, I like the refresh definitely for 2018. Uh, so let's go ahead and move inside now and show you some of the equipment on the inside. Now moving to the interior, Lariat has always been known as having a leather interior and that continues in the 2018 model year as well. So one of the first things you're going to see is that premium leather seats in here. Uh, it's going to come standard with a 40-20-40 split bench seat here in the front seat. Uh, and uh, that's going to come with the dual power seats, 10-way on the driver and front passenger on those outbound seats, uh, including your power lumbar, power backrest. Also heated and cooled seats for these seats on the outside. And then your 20% seat is going to have a storage compartment underneath that seat cushion. You can just pull that up and have a compartment under there. And then the backrest is going to lay down to give you an armrest as well if you go with that seating configuration. Or you can go with the optional bucket seats with this big console here uh, that makes it uh, the same seating configuration on those outside seats with the 10-way as well as your heated cooled seats. But now you have a bigger compartment to put some things in. So you have this big compartment here with a tray there as well as cup holders here as well as cup holders, two cup holders back there for those in the back seat to be able to use. And a compartment up here with two smart USB ports which we'll get to that will come with the SYNC 3 system as well and a nice little area to put some things in there too. So a lot of people like the bucket seats and that's what we usually order most of ours in. Also you're going to see the wood grain uh, finish on your doors as well as on the dash. And that uh, really dresses it up uh, for that lariat as well. Uh, and you're going to see it here on this uh, cover there as well. Uh, now also it does have power adjustable pedals. I mentioned that driver memory. Uh, so it takes care of the seat for the driver as well as the mirrors and the power adjustable pedals. And those go forward and back electronically. And so that way it makes it a little bit easier when you get... Uh, when you address that for any size uh, driver there. Now, it does have the easy entry and exit seat, and I really like that because uh, when you uh, turn the vehicle off, the seat's gonna come back, and, this, and the, uh, I think the pedals might even move down, uh, but it makes it a little bit easier getting in and out of the truck, and then when you hit the push button start to start it, it's gonna move that seat, put it into position. Uh, I don't think I have it, the memory set, and that's why I didn't move that, but uh, if we go ahead and adjust that, and then we set that, and there's three no different uh, numbers over here for the different drivers uh, for that. And I'll go ahead and save that. Uh, so if I go ahead and get out, it'll move that, as you see, move that seat back a little bit because uh, I didn't move it up that much. And then when you uh, get in it the next time, it's going to, as you see, move that seat into position. So that's a real nice system. Uh, I like it, uh, getting in and out, and a lot of people forget to mention that. Uh, also, you're uh, uh, going to have the back seats back there are going to be a 60-40 split bench seat uh, for those seats. You do have, uh, if you get the Super Crew, you're going to have an armrest that comes up in the middle backrest back there. 
And then both those seats, the 60% side as well as the 40% side, can will pull up, giving you some storage compartments underneath uh, those seats back there too. So uh, I think you'll appreciate that back there. Lots of room for the Super Crew model back there as well. Now here on the door you have your power windows, locks, mirror switches. Don't forget it has a powerful mirror switch on there as well and your driver memory right beside your uh, power lock switch there. Uh, power adjustable pedals is going to be below your uh, your automatic headlights here. Uh, and if you have that in that, uh, that little A setting on the automatic headlights, uh, they're going to come on automatically as it gets dark. Uh, you do have a manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel, so it'll go up and down, forward and back by just pulling the lever underneath the steering wheel. Leather wrapped steering wheel here for you. and. Uh, uh, comes uh, this and here comes the, the tan interior is going to come with that dark brown. Uh, if you get the black interior, it's going to come with your black leather wrap steering wheel. Cruise control on the left side of the steering wheel with your Bluetooth controls and audio controls on the right side of the steering wheel here. Now your 4x4 is going to come with your 4x4 shift on the fly here with an automatic 4x4 setting as well uh, for that uh, there too. Uh, climate control, you have dual zone auto climate control. So the driver and front passenger are going to get two different temperatures. It comes in real handy when that have that sun coming in one side or another if you don't get those front tinted windows that we can do here. Uh, so that comes in uh, real nice uh, so that way everybody's comfortable here in the front seats. For your audio controls you have AM FM, CD player, Sirius satellite as standard equipment and the Sync 3 system now uh, also is standard equipment on your 2018 model. I think actually it carried over from 2017 as well. But I like the Sync 3. It's that third generation voice enhanced recognition system where you can make and receive phone calls. You can control your audio, also uh, your, uh, your different entertainment and uh, climate as well through there. Uh, real nice system to use. And if you haven't had a chance, I do have a video on our uh, YouTube channel under the how to videos exactly how that system works. A great tutorial. Uh, so do check out that video. Uh, I did uh, take that uh, when it first came out in early 2017. It's when I recorded that video. So uh, it's still very useful now. So I think you appreciate that. Now up here on the mirror also you got auto dimming rear view mirror here too to go along with that side mirror. And then you're going to get carpeted mats in the, uh, for the footwells for the first as well as those rear seats back there too. So uh, that's all your standard equipment on all your Lariat trucks uh, inside and out now. So let's go ahead and talk about that 501A package. So I pulled in this really nice truck and now this has a lot of equipment that we're going to get to in just a little bit uh, to show you the rest of the features uh, that we're going to talk about on the Lariat trim model. So let's first talk about that 501A package. That's that mid-level package. It has six great features that I think you'll really appreciate. Two of those here on the mirror. One of those is now these uh, signal, uh, turn signal indicators, these LEDs are now going to double as your LED spotlight. Uh, so that's going to be uh, part of this package. So you just turn on the uh, buttons on the, above those headlights and it's going to cast out a nice LED spotlight to the uh, side of the truck off those mirrors. So that's a real nice feature. Also, now you're going to get bliss with cross traffic alert. Great feature. Uh, if there's someone in your blind spot now, it's going to put a light in the side of the mirror that they're coming from so you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. And also as you're backing up, it uses a cross traffic alert. So if there's someone that's going to cross your path behind you, it's going to put a, a light in the mirror that the side they're coming from. Also a message on the dash telling you the same thing and a series of tones that it's not safe to back up. Love this feature. The third and fourth feature are here in the back. Uh, it does now come standard with a reverse sensing system. So as you're backing up, not only are you going to be able to see behind you now, you're also going to get alerted if you get too close to anything. So uh, you do have those sensors here on the bumpers for that. Also, let's talk about the tailgate a little bit. We talked about earlier that they lock with the uh, remote here, but now you're going to get the remote tailgate release. So uh, uh, this nice key fob in here, you just uh, press that twice and it's going to go ahead and unlock and lower that tailgate down. Also to go along with that on your remote, you get remote start too. Now feature five and six of this package are here on the interior, uh, and that is the 110 outlet. Uh, so you're going to have that 110 outlet right here, so now you have a power point as well as a three prong outlet here. Uh, but also if you get the bucket seats with the console, you're also going to get a 110 outlet behind the back of this console for those in the rear seat too. So uh, you're going to get two if you have the bucket seats. Also, the sixth feature is going to be your universal garage door opener. So up here on the visor, you have a garage door opener for three different uh, garage doors. So you can program those uh, different garage doors. You have two, three garage doors, gates as well. Uh, anything that has those transmitters, you're going to be able to use that up here as well as part of this package. So let's talk about that 502A package, that luxury package. Now, it's going to get everything we've already talked about, the standard equipment plus that 501A package, plus these features I'm about ready to talk about. And one of the big reasons that people like to go to that luxury package is for the chrome appearance package. So you get that Lariat chrome appearance package. And I really wish I had a truck and stock with just the 502A package so you could really see the impact of that. 
but it's going to take the chrome bumpers that you're already going to get from that Lariat base model. Uh, also, the chrome grill in the front. You're going to get now, instead of that black mesh that we talked about earlier, it's going to be a silver painted mesh, so it really makes that pop and gives it that chrome accent up there. You're also going to get 18-inch chrome wheels instead of those uh, uh, premium painted wheels. It's going to have a bright uh, painted uh, chrome wheels there. Also, you're going to get your chrome running boards, which we saw in the, the truck earlier we had in here. It's going to have that too, as well as your chrome door handles, rear applique, and mirror caps. So really kind of gives it that chrome appearance all the way around the truck and makes it look uh, really sharp here. Uh, also, as part of this package on the outside is you're going to get now a quad beam uh, headlights here for you, those LEDs uh, up here in the front. Just looks real sharp, uh, as you can see here, a great uh, pop to them. It's going to really light up the road as well. Uh, of course, continue to get your LED tail lights there in the back. Uh, also, you're going to get now, for, uh, new for 2018, LED fog lights as part of this package. Uh, so, of course, LEDs are so much brighter, so it's going to really make, allow you to be able to see the road up there, too. Uh, so that's uh, also part of this package. Automatic high beam with rain sensing wipers. Uh, so what's uh, great about that is, uh, just like it sounds, automatically those high beams will come on if you're on the highway and there's nobody in front of you, no headlights hitting it, uh, or you're not in the city, it's going to turn those uh, high beams on automatically as well as uh, turn them off when you get in the city or when those uh, vehicles are kind of approaching you. And it's real easy to shut that off if you don't like that one feature out of this. Uh, don't feel uh, like you can't get this package because you can not set that setting off uh, inside. Also, that rain sensing wipers go along with that. Just like it sounds like, it automatically will turn those wipers on. If you have it in an automatic setting, it starts to rain, it's going to turn those wipers on. As it rains harder, it'll then turn them on a little harder. So it works really well. And also new for 2018 as part of this package, is the windshield wiper de-icers. Uh, it comes in real handy because your windshield will de uh, defrost that, that ice and such as it's raining, uh, but then windshield wipers will start to ice up on you and freeze up, and the de-icers will really help with that. A lot of features here on the inside as part of this 502A package as well. I think you'll really appreciate. And one of those is the bucket seats with the console. Uh, optional equipment on those other packages, standard equipment now on this with the heated and cooled seats as we've talked about already. Uh, so if you're wanting that bench seat, uh, it's not going to be available with this package. So keep that in mind. Also, the back seats now also get heated seats on those two outbound seats if you get the Super Crew model only. Uh, so that's uh, also going to be available uh, for those uh, stand part of this package. I think those in the back seat will really enjoy that. On your steering wheel, a couple different great features as part of this package. One of those is a heated steering wheel now. Uh, real nice and easy to use. Also works with that remote start to heat that up as well as you can program that here on the uh, uh, SYNC 3 system. And power tilt and telescoping st uh, steering wheel with the memory features. So it'll go up and down, uh, forward and back. Uh, so electronically and the memory features will include this. So now you'll have the steering wheel, the pedals, the seat, and the mirrors. that will be prior to that, those memory features for three different drivers. And uh, I think the steering wheel even goes back uh, for you as well on that easy entry and exit uh, too. So I think you'll appreciate that uh, on the steering wheel. And now some great uh, audio sound system here. So now you get the B&O audio sound system. Real nice upgrade from, from that Sony to the B&O uh, from for this year. Uh, so uh, 10 speakers, HD radio, uh, some great features that go along with that. Even that includes a subwoofer too, 10 speakers with a subwoofer. Uh, so great audio sound system that goes along with this. And you're going to see this nice big uh, speaker with the B&O uh, right there on the dash. Also navigation. Now standard equipment on the 502A package it is a standalone option on the 500 501A, but it's included in this with the pinch and zoom capabilities. Uh, as well. I think you really like that that system there too. Uh, so uh, real nice. And to finish everything off, this package comes with the Sync Connect. Uh, sometimes it's overlooked. Sync Connect is a great way to really connect you to the vehicle using the Ford Pass app. Uh, so you're going to be able to remote start your vehicle, lock, unlock from anywhere with that app, as well as to help you locate your vehicle. Uh, a lot of other features. Uh, so I don't know if you've been in a uh, went to a ball game or something, football game or something, and forgot what section you parked your vehicle. You can be able to use that app to locate your vehicle and see this, the status of your vehicle as well. And Wi-Fi hotspots for 10 devices. So now you want, don't want those kids using all your data. Go ahead and have them connect to the phone to the vehicle here on that Wi-Fi hotspot and uh, up to 10 devices. And I think you'll really appreciate that as well as all the features in this uh, this nice package. 
So let's talk about three great options or packages, I should say, that are available uh, for your truck, no matter what uh, different ones you gave. It's available in the 500A, 501A, or 502A package. Uh, and uh, one of those is the FX4 off-road package. Now, some four great options that are available on this package uh, that really help you out. One of those is the upgraded or the off-road uh, front shock absorbers. Uh, there's an off-road tuned, so they're going to be ready for being able to go in that FX, FX4 type mode. Also, you're going to get the skid plates underneath for your fuel tank, transfer case, and front differential under there. A hill descent control as well for you and the decal on the side that's going to say FX4 off-road on there. So uh, those four, four great options as part of that package. Also the tow package, uh, that trailer tow package. Now I know it already has a receiver hitch and a lot of people think that means it's got the tow package, uh, but actually adding the tow package adds some other great features that go along with that. And one of those is going to be the upgraded uh, front stabilizer bar. You're also going to get an engine oil cooler, the auxiliary transmission oil cooler, uh, and then also you're going to get that Pro Trailer Backup Assist. Uh, so that's that little dial on the dash that will allow you to be able to turn that to help, help you uh, steer that conventional uh, trailer that you might have. Now let's also talk about that Max Trailer Tow Package and that's also available as standard equipment on any of those three uh, trim packages. Um, and it's going to include everything in part of that Trailer Tow Package but a little bit more. And it's also going to include a bigger fuel tank. It's also going to upgrade the rear bumper so it can take more uh, that you're towing with it. Also with that you're going to get the integrated trailer brake controller and you're going to be required to have that 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost engine so you can tow the very maximum that you can with this truck. Another thing I want to mention at this point on the Max Trailer Tow Package is in the past, uh, we've seen that the Max Trailer Tow Package meant that you got different mirrors. That is not included in this package. Uh, that is a standalone option that we'll get to in just a little bit. Let's talk about two trucks that really dress up the truck as part of this. Now these are optional on the 501A or the 502A package that we talked about earlier. Not available on that just a base model uh, Lariat truck. Uh, now the Sport Appearance package is a real nice package. It kind of upgrades uh, that a little bit, gives it a sport look. And this uh, truck does have that package on it. And what it's going to do is it's going to take that, some of the chrome accents and give it body colored accents instead. So as you're seeing here, it's going to take those chrome bumpers. You're going to have body colored bumpers front and back. Also, the grill. It's going to go from that two-bar grill, the chrome grill, to a body-colored two-bar grill. So it's going to just take all the chrome accents on that front grill and it's going to create the, the body color instead with the black mesh uh, insert in there. The wheels are going to go from those, uh, those chrome wheels uh, or the aluminum wheels if you have the base model to the 18-inch uh, premium paint aluminum wheel with the magnetic gray painted pockets. Uh, so really addresses up the wheel, gives it the sport look with those painted pockets on there. The running boards on the side are going to be an accent color running boards. Similar to these, uh, these are actually the black running boards. It's part of the next package we're going to talk about, but it actually takes this accent right here in the middle uh, where instead of that black, it's going to be an accent color there. Also, you're going to have your body colored mirror caps as well as door handles here uh, as part of that uh, sport appearance package. And then it's going to get bucket seats with the floor console as, standard, as part of that package too. So it's going to require that uh, with some different, uh, different uh, unique trim uh, on the inside too for the sport appearance package. Now the special edition package, you're required to have that package I just talked about for this special edition package. So it's going to keep that body colored bumpers front and back, body colored mirror caps, and door handles uh, just like we talked about. But it upgrades the grill. Now it's the grill like you're seeing here with the body colored surround and it's going to have that dark tarnished uh, mesh grill insert in there. So it just looks real sharp up there. Also going to upgrade the wheels. So now you're going to get a 20 inch dark tarnished painted and aluminum wheel. Uh, looks real sharp. Uh, I think you'll I really like that. Uh, really of uh, course dresses it up. Makes it a little bit bigger wheel too. Uh, I think you'll like that. Your running boards now are going to be a black running board here as you're seeing here. Kind of bring it in everything. And then you're going to have some nice decals here on the outside. So you're going to have the uh, stripes, unique stripes here on the side. Now, I like this year's uh, the, the break in those. It just looks real sharp. They've changed that for 2018. As well as you have your hood uh, graphic too up there uh, that looks real similar uh, to the side here. And then you're going to have your fender and tailgate decals with a red accent on those too. So you're going to have those uh, on the side of the truck and on the back tailgate. On the inside, you're going to see these nice upgraded seats. So with the red trim on them, with the red stitching, uh, leather seats, 
uh, looks real sharp. Also, the steering wheel is going to have the red stitching on the, that as well. So, a uh, real nice uh, look to dress it up. And, you know, I almost forgot too, has your red stitching everywhere. So, the red stitching here as well as on your doors, on your dash, uh, to just bring that special edition package together in here on the inside. Another package I want to talk about and that's available on the 502A package is the technology package. Uh, that has three great features that really help you enjoy your ride a little bit more with some great technology features. One of those is the lane keeping system. Uh, what's great about the lane keeping system is it not only alerts you but also keeps you in your lane. A lot of the other truck companies uh, they'll have an alert system but this actually keeps you in your lane so it'll actually bump you in and keep you in, in your lane. Make sure you use your turn signals with that uh, when you use that system otherwise it will try to keep you in that lane. Also it has the, uh, the active park assist system. Uh, what th that system does is it helps you find in parallel park your vehicle so it takes care of all the steering while you control the gas and the brake in those parallel parking spots. Uh, so I do have a video under the how-to videos on our YouTube channel on the enhanced active park assist. In the beginning of that video goes over this system on the active park, the parallel parking version of that. And so do check that out. It's an outside as well as an in inside perspective of that system. And the third feature on this is the 360 degree camera. So there's gonna be a camera on the front of the truck, one on the back, one on each of the mirrors. And it, so you'll have a 360 degree view of the vehicle. So as you're, when you have it in that rear view camera on the screen, the left side is going to be the, the back camera, the right side is going to be that 360 degree view. And then also it's going to have that front camera. So if you have it in drive or you have it in park, you're going to be able to see the front aspect on the left side. You just hit that button again and it'll go to the full view uh, of the, the back or the front camera, whatever you're looking for there. So great system there uh, uh, that I really like. Now optional on the 502A package uh, that's also a technology package. I'm really surprised they didn't include that in this package, but it is a standalone option on the 502A package is the adaptive cruise control uh, with the stop and go uh, that I like, and that actually even has a pedestrian detection uh, for you in the active braking system. So that's a, just like it sounds, it's going to uh, take care of the cruise. So when you're on the highway, you have that cruise set. It's going to go, uh, it's going to be set. When you pull it behind somebody, it's going to slow you down to go their speed so you don't rear in them. When you pass them, it'll speed you back up. So you don't have to use the brake so much. It's going to really help you uh, save on that brake. Plus, it's just a nice experience when you're driving on the highway, when you're trying to get to your destination. So you don't have to keep, uh, you know, hitting that resume button and hitting your brake and such. Uh, so I think you really like that. And the pedestrian detection is great. So uh, if, you know, if you're driving in the city uh, and someone comes out, it's going to help detect that and even help um, break that. Uh, break your vehicle and uh, so I think you really like that. Uh, so great system there and again that is uh, optional on the 502A package as well. Now let's talk about some of the standalone options. Uh, I'll do the best that I can on this. There's a lot of standalone options that are available on the F-150 uh, and now let's we'll start here on the side of the truck here. Uh, now the, talked about the different wheel options. You know standard wheel is the 18 inch uh, machine aluminum wheel with those uh, flash gray painted pockets. Uh, you can get an optional a 20 inch wheel when you go to the 501A package and above uh, that's also available so it takes that 18 to 20. Also the chrome wheel uh, we talked about as part of that Lariat chrome package in that 502A package it's also available on the 501A package as a 20 inch chrome wheel uh, if you'd like that bigger wheel and then also uh, when you go to the sport package on that 501A package or the 502 uh, you get that 18 inch uh, wheel with the magnetic painted pockets you can go for the 20 inch as well so a lot of basically all those three wheels go you have an 18 option as well as a 20 uh, 20 inch option on those wheels also you have two-tone paint here on the side of the vehicle uh, now if you do get the two-tone paint that accent color the bumpers are going to be that color as well so you're going to have the bumpers these wheel lip moldings as well as the two-tone down the side are going to be in that that accent color that you choose there uh, different running board options, that 500A package and the 501A, uh, they don't come with running boards, so you can get that optional chrome running boards here on the side uh, as uh, something you can add to them. If you get the 502A package with the chrome boards already on them, if you'd like, there is a power deployable option uh, that you can get. Now what's great about the power deployable running boards is it tucks underneath and when you open the doors, it's going to lower the running boards down, a little bit lower than your normal running boards, so they're going to come down a little bit lower, makes it a little bit easier to get in and out uh, for shorter people. Uh, also, uh, it, when you have the doors shut, the running boards then tuck back underneath. Protects the top of those running boards from dirt debris when you're driving down the road, and it just looks real nice on the side of it. So that is optional on that 502A package, which is a, a nice little option. Now we talked about some other features. We talked about when you go to the, uh, I think it's the 501A package, you get those LED spotlights over here. That is also a standalone option on your 500A package. 
as well as when you have that max trailer tow package, we talked about the uh, trailer tow mirrors. That is a standalone option. You don't have to get the max trailer tow package to get those mirrors, but they are going to be a power scope trailer tow mirror. So you're going to a little bit bigger mirror. It'll electronically power scope out as well as in with the power fold features and all the other features that comes along with that. Now keep in mind when you go to the 501A package, it'll also get your bliss with cross traffic alert as part of that, that mirror package. So a real nice feature there. Uh, so here on the side, you can get, if you have the super cab or your super crew with a six and a half foot bed, you're going to get that box sidestep as well. And so that's a little step that's going to be uh, a lot like this running board here, but you're going to be able to push a little button on the side. It's going to come down a little bit, allow you to get access into the back of the bed by putting your foot on that and bringing yourself up. And then you can just tuck it up under there as well. So uh, that's also uh, a, a feature that's available there. So uh, some great features here on the side of them that, that are optional equipment uh, for your truck. Now let's go to the back and show you some things that are optional back there. Let's talk about some of the uh, optional equipment on the back here. Uh, one of them I wanted to talk about as we move to the back is the 36-gallon fuel tank. That is a standalone option on any of your trims. Uh, I, I talked about it as being a, a part of a package, uh, but also as a standalone option, you're able to get that 36-gallon tank on any of the different um, packages there. Now here on the back, also does have reverse sensing here. Uh, so as you're backing up, you're going to get alerted. Uh, that is, a, of course, standard on your 501A and above, but on that 500A, it's also a standalone option too. And then let's talk about the tailgate step. Uh, tailgate step is a real nice feature. It's uh, op optional equipment on any of, you, any of your uh, different levels, uh, whether it be your base, your mid, or your luxury. Uh, real nice and easy to use. Uh, you just pull that step out of the top after you press that button, and then you extend the handle out, clicks twice, and then you move it up into position. So real nice. And I like that it's not, uh, none of it's on top like the handle on the Super Duty was for years. Uh, everything's in the tailgate. It makes it real nice and easy to, to pull out and uh, as well as put away. So, uh, it's quick and easy, uh, so you know, if you say, well, I won't take the time to do that, it, it, you just saw just now, it doesn't take any time at all. Also, the cargo bed extender. Uh, that's uh, real nice, it's foldable. I, I don't have one here, but uh, hopefully I'll have a video right now that'll show up uh, that'll actually show you how it's uh, foldable. You can pull it out. Uh, what's great about it is you can leave it uh, in, the, in the, the bed itself and you can close the tailgate and you can in, and keep things inside and contained in the back back there so they won't roll around in your bed. Also, then you can also extend it back over, turn it over, lock it into place back here on the tailgate. It kind of extends your cargo just a little bit longer uh, for those things, those bigger things and items uh, that can be contained within that. So that's a real nice system too. Also, you have several different ways to protect it. Uh, from the factory, you can get a drop-in bed liner as well as a spray-in bed liner options uh, with the vehicle. Uh, also, uh, most of your dealerships, just like with us, we have an aftermarket department. We do in-house spray-in bed liner, so we can have that done here as well as different bed covers that we can order for you. Uh, also, the integrated trailer brake controller. I uh, mentioned that earlier as part of that um, max trailer tow package, but it's also a standalone option as long as you get the tow package. So it comes, it does require the tow package, but you can get that as a, on any of the different packages, uh, trim levels as well across there. So let's go ahead and move inside and talk about some of the features on the inside. Now let's talk about a couple of features that are available uh, as optional equipment on the 500 and 501A package uh, that are part of that 502A package. And one of those is the bucket seats with this console. Uh, so this is a standalone option, uh, not this design. Of course, it's part of that special edition package, but you can get the bucket seats with the console in that 500 or 501A package. Also navigation, uh, you know, is a standalone option for those two as well. Uh, so now the pinch to zoom capabilities, you'll have that uh, as, uh, as part of that. And then the sync connect, which I think is a great package. I'm glad that it's an optional equipment on even the 500A package uh, is available equipment. So that way you can connect to the vehicle, being able to remote start the vehicle, unlock, lock it, and have the Wi-Fi hotspots and everything. So that's a great feature too. That B&O audio sound system with the 10 speaker subwoofer HD radio that's part of that 502A package is available as a standalone option on that 501A package, that mid-level package as well. And then the 110 outlet. Uh, 110 is uh, standard on the 501 and above. It's optional equipment on your 500A package too. So some uh, great features there uh, that I think you'll appreciate. Also uh, talking about some things that are optional when you go over to the 501 and above. And one of those is the rear inflatable seat belts. Those outbound seat belts get the rear inflatable, uh, the airbags on those uh, seat belts there to protect those in the back. Also the power moonroof. Now if you have the super cab, you get the power moonroof option 
uh, as a part of that. And then the dual panel moonroof, if you have the Super Crew, that's available. And I like this with the power sunshade. So you can just uh, press that the button there. It's going to go back halfway. Uh, and it's going to stop there. Also, the, the moonroof will open up. And then that sunshade will go on back, too, uh, if you uh, want those in the back want to enjoy that, the uh, and dual panel uh, moonroof uh, as well. So that's an, uh, another feature that's, uh, part, that's available with the 501 and above, too. So um, some great equipment on all this uh, throughout the vehicle that I think you really appreciate as standalone options here on the inside. So there you have it. There's all the standard equipment as well as optional equipment and different packages are available on your 2018 Ford F-150 Lariat. Uh, not a big change from 2017. A couple options that weren't available in 17. Uh, again, like the LED fog lights, and the uh, um, windshield wiper de-icers and things like that. Some new colors for 2018. This is the lead fit gray. They also have the magma red that's available now. Uh, and uh, I know there's another color I'm forgetting. Uh, plus a different look, fresh look on the front too, as you can see uh, with this uh, look as well as the back tailgate uh, uh, stamp back there too. So uh, I think they've really done a good job of refreshing a little bit, but not just reinventing it because it is a really nice truck. The military grade aluminum alloy with that high strength steel uh, frame there, just a powerful truck. Upgraded the engines a little bit, 10 speed automatic uh, with all the engines now, gives it even more performance and power uh, than they had in 2017. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. Also, any comments you might have, put those down in the comments down below. I do respond to those. I uh, definitely want that feedback. If you like this video and you want to see more of these videos, check out our YouTube channel. Subscribe as well. Uh, hit that notification bell. That way you get notified every time we have a video like this uh, that's posted. Uh, in fact, I do have a 2018 Ford F-150 Platinum video. So if you're interested in that, I'll probably link it down below in the description. Uh, as well as you can check it there on our channel. And uh, I, I think you'll like what we are bringing to uh, YouTube and different content for the, F, the Ford vehicles as well as our Lincoln lineups. If you're interested in Lincolns, check those out too there on our channel. So hope you like this video. Check out our website, lawmacarthur.com. There on our website, we have lots of inventory. In fact, several of these F-150s, 18s now in stock uh, currently on the Lariats. I think we have 17 Lariats in stock. A lot of them in this package here that you're seeing, uh, but we do have some others that will be trickling in any time now as well as we have some King Ranches that just showed up as well the other day so I'll hopefully be doing a King Ranch video soon you can check that out as well so uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video I uh, hope you uh, enjoy your research for a Ford F-150 again if you have any questions you can call or send us a text message 785 378-5031. Love to help you with your research and your find your, your look for a new F-150. And keep in mind, Law MacArthur Ford will ship anywhere in the country for free. So keep that in mind. Think about that. Uh, if you want to get a truck, you really like what I've, I've given, the information I've given you, want to order something, want something out of our inventory, uh, we can help you out and take care of you that way. So until we see you on the next video, I hope you enjoyed this video on the 2018 Ford F-150 Lariat.